Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world today. And I just wanted to check in with you guys because I went through a little bit of a lull the last few days where I wasn't really sure what to talk about and was just feeling kind of bleh. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys were feeling that too, but I just wanted to check in with you, let you know there's more content on the way and just talk about the earth right now today in this short message, okay? because I was out, it's raining, it's pouring rain here today, and I was out for a walk with Jack this morning and getting soaked. I actually really like being out in the rain. But I've really noticed on my walks how quiet it is. And I live in a pretty quiet part of town anyways, but it's extra quiet out there. There's this stillness growing. And in this stillness, we're being invited to contemplate our lives and contemplate how we want to move forward. And this is such a beautiful time right now. Like I know that there, there's so much craziness and chaos and death happening, but at the same time, there's always this balance. So on the one hand, we have great, great tragedy that I do not want to downplay. But on the other hand, there's also a beautiful awakening happening and a beautiful healing of the planet. The Himalayan mountains can be seen now. They're visible now for the first time in 30 years. Think about that. Just from humans shutting down their normal way of life for a month. It's reversed that much air pollution that you can actually see the Himalayans right now for the first time in 30 years. There's been coyotes spotted on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm noticing much more wildlife. I don't know about where you are, but there's more birds around. I'm seeing rabbits everywhere. I'm seeing like all kinds of wildlife that I don't get to see very often in this city. Everybody's coming out to play. And it's really cool. And this is just from us changing how we do things for a short amount of time. Imagine if we change the way we do things for a longer period of time. And I'm not saying that we need to be in quarantine for the rest of our lives, but imagine if we traveled a little bit less. Imagine if we got our food from more local sources. Where I'm going with this is while I was out on my walk, I could feel the earth calling all of us to reconnect. It's so easy when we're in our routines, in the day-to-day, -day, in the hustle and bustle, to be disconnected from the planet and disconnected from each other and disconnected from even ourselves and our own bodies. And I just, I was feeling this really deep pull to reconnect to the earth and the plants and the ecosystem that is the entire planet that we are a part of, that we are influencing with our decisions. And to reconnect with each other and the people that we can sometimes take for granted. And to reconnect with our bodies, which are made of the same elements as the planet and everything else that walks and moves and flies, and to come back. To come back home, to come back inside, and to come back to stillness to come back to connection and to come back into sync with everything because there's this inherent rhythm that animates everything. Can you feel it while you're listening to this video? Can you feel that your heartbeat is synced up with the planet? and with the universe, and with all the other beings on this planet, 
all moving at once in beautiful synchronization that can look chaotic, but deep down underneath everything that's happening, there is an order to it. And when we're still enough, our body starts to relax and to sync back up with the rhythm of the universe, the rhythm of life, and the rhythm of creation. We're being called to reconnect, to unplug our energy from the illusory sources of power and to plug back in to all that is, to the actual source, to the ever flowing, never ending force and energy that is available to us every day. See, when we feel depleted and tired, it's because we've, we've plugged ourselves into a finite source of energy and power in this reality. We can only draw so much from things here. But when we unplug from that and we plug back into God, Source, Spirit, the Universe, we will never thirst. I'm feeling a meditation coming on. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you guys tons and tons and tons of love. More videos coming at you soon. There's going to be a meditation for the full moon coming up that I will schedule um, that you can set a reminder for yourselves for. And as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with someone you think it might help. And if you like more content like this, subscribe down below and hit that bell notification so you get notified of when I put up new videos. Okay? Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.